chance to walk away with over $230,000, but ended up redlining down to zero. Tonight, a new group of contenders are hungry, ready and waiting to take the ride of their life in the chair. <laughs> Ever since I got this gig as a game show host, I've wanted to say this. Carlos Sanchez, come on down. You're our first contender on The Chair. Attempting to make it in the chair is not for the faint of heart. Our medical staff has been monitoring tonight's contenders for the past two hours. We now know their resting heart rates. It varies from person to person. My name is Carlos Sanchez. I am 39 years old. I'm a school teacher. I teach a class of 20 kids right here in the heart of Los Angeles. One of the most important things I like to teach my kids is the big thing is just to relax. Uh, it's, it's only a test. Carlos's breeze passed the initial test we've thrown at him. Now we will take him to school in the chair. One of the important things I like to teach my kids also is uh, good sportsmanship. And heck, when it's all over, maybe John McMurrow can come down and uh, give the kids a lesson on that. Carlos, welcome to the chair. Thank you. I got to say right off the bat, I'm worried about your teaching credentials. Oh. You want me to go to school and teach people about good sportsmanship? Well, you know, if the... Th thank you for saying that. <laughs> I... Hey, if the kids could learn your focus and your determination, you know, we'll teach them manners later. Uh... And you're right for $5,000. No. I like this, too. He says, McEnroe kicks ass and doesn't take crap from anyone. You obviously haven't met my wife, though. <laughs> All right, you've got seven questions to answer and two hard stoppers to get past. Do that, Carlos, and you got $250,000 in your pocket. All right, it is game time. Your resting heart rate is 94 beats per minute? That's the highest we've ever seen on the show. Is that what teaching does? That's what it does it to you. That doesn't seem very <laughs> relaxed. Got a lot of heart, you know? All right. 70% above that is 160 beats per minute. That's your red line rate. I take that back. You are a smart teacher. You stay under that, you lose nothing. Right. You go over your red line during a question or heart stopper, and you lose money at 100 bucks a second. I'm going to give you $5,000 to get you going. This first question right, you get another $5,000. Here it is. Dingo, kangaroo, koala, wallaby. What is the name of the popular TV captain played by Bob Keeshan? You may answer the question. Kangaroo. Captain Kangaroo is right for $5,000. Just like that, Carlos, you got yourself $10,000. Yay. Who's backstage with you? Oh, my wife, my lovely You're wife, great. Rosemary. How long you been married? Yes. Yeah, sure. I love you. Come on. We've been married about, uh oh, a year and five months. Stay calm. You can do it. Carlos, here comes your first heart stopper. It's getting hotter up there. Well, there it is. You've lost no money. I got a better tan now, though, I think. Things are going to get tougher, though, from now on. For question two, we're lowering your red line rate by 5% of your resting heart rate. As we go on, it will continue to be lowered by 5% for each question. But the value will increase as we go. So this next question, Carlos, is worth $10,000, and here it is. All your base belong. What is the last word of the U.S. Pledge of Allegiance? You may answer the question. You're not, you're not redlining, so you've got plenty of time to answer this. All. You 
said all, and you are correct for $10,000. You would have been summarily dismissed from that school of yours if you'd missed that one. Exactly. The kids would all laugh at me. All right, well, you got $20,000 already. Let's bring your red line rate down again for this $15,000 question. If you red line now, you lose 200 bucks a second. This is a visual question where I'll show you a series of images. Carlos, look closely, because you're going to have to remember something specific about one of them. Okay. You ready? Ready. Let's roll it. All right, for $15,000, commas, question marks, Exclamation points are semicolons. What punctuation marks were pictured in the fourth image? Question marks. You may answer the question. Question marks, please. Question marks. You said question marks. Let's see if that's right. That is correct for $15,000. Question marks was the answer. That brings you up to $35,000. And Carlos, you've earned the right to stabilize. You want to stabilize now or gamble and do it later? I will stabilize. You will stabilize. Carlos Sanchez is taking home at least $35,000 unless he redlines it away. We'll find out what happens after the break. school teacher Carlos in the chair and he stabilized at $35,000 but he'll now lose $300 a second if he redlines and yes you guessed it we're dropping that red line rate once again all right here's question four this one's worth $25,000 Dow Jones S&P 500 Nasdaq Wilshire 5000 which of these is an index of exactly 30 leading blue chip stocks? You may answer the question. S&P 500? You said S&P 500? No, Carlos, I'm sorry. The answer is Dow Jones. Uh, never good in my investments. Well, here's the good news, though. You stabilized at $35,000, so that's all yours to keep, OK? Teachers, Carlos. Thank you, sir. Good try, but you've also been beaten by the chair. The reason I chose to stabilize was because I, I felt my heart going a little bit, and I figured, you know, better go home with something than nothing. <laughs> with the 35 grand, I think I'm gonna probably put some money down for a house or something. I'll tell you what, if our next contender wins, I'm gonna do something most people have never seen. I'll relax. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that Chris Macker can do the same as she takes her seat in the chair. I'm going to be getting married in four months in Bellagio, Lake Como, Italy. And if I win all the money, I'm going to help pay off the wedding. We threw the bride-to-be an unexpected shower. Her heart responded with a 33 beat per minute jump. You need more control before saying I do to the chair. Chris, welcome to the chair. Thank you very much. So you're going to have an expensive wedding, I guess. Let's hope need, it gets you... more expensive. It's not too late, by the way. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's going ahead. Are We're you gonna sure do it. you're going to oh, go? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I see you want to go hella skiing in Canada. Yes, I'd love that. Are you a big skier? I love to ski. I used to live in Aspen. This will be nothing compared to double black diamonds. Oh. <laughs> Would you care to make a bet on that? I don't know. I got seven questions to ask you. I'm also going to surprise you with a couple of heart stoppers. You blow past all those, and you could wind up with 250 thousand dollars all right it's game time all right
right, Chris. Before the show, we measured your resting heart rate at 84 beats per minute. If we go a whopping 70% above that to 143 beats per minute, that's what we call your red line rate. You want to stay below that during questions and heart stoppers, or else you lose $100 a second. I'm going to start you off with $5,000. You're well under the red line right now. And here's your first question for another $5,000. Old, new, borrowed, blue. Which word precedes faithful in the name of a major geyser in Yellowstone Park? You may answer the question. Old. Old is correct for $5,000. That's easy, right? Now, just like that, you got 10,000 big ones. Who, who'd you bring with you tonight, Chris? My fiance. Woo, baby! Woo! He's counting you the money know, right babe. now, huh? Oh, yeah. Yes! I know what he's thinking back there. What's oh, he yeah. thinking? You better not lose! <laughs> Chris, there's your first heart stopper. Here it comes. What? Whoa! Flinch, but there's no flinching. You can do it, babe. You're the heart stopper slayer. A purple pinata. <laughs> All right, let's move things along. After each question, we're going to drop your red line rate by 5% of your resting heart rate. I never said this was going to be easy. For 10,000, black, white, green, brown. What is the last name of the actor who played the title character in the 2001 movie, Shallow Hal? You may answer the question. You're way under your red line rate, so you certainly have time to think about it. But it is an hour show. The last name of the actor who played the title character in the 2001 movie, Shallow Hal. Oh, I can picture what he looks like. So at some stage today, you should make a guess. But, but I'll let you think about it for a minute. OK, I'm going to guess. Well, this might be the most expensive guess of your life, Chris. We'll find out after the break. Welcome back. Chris Macker is about to make the most expensive guess of her life. You watch every one of the entertainment shows. You gotta know it, babe. Okay. Um... Black. You're right. It was Jack Black for $10,000. $20,000. Chris, though, remember, you got to keep your eyes open. Oh, yeah. OK? Did you guess that or? Completely. All right, good guess. Now, stay focused here so I can write a lot of zeros on that winning check. I'm going to bring that red line rate down again. If you red line now, you lose $200 a second. This is our visual question. This one's worth $15,000, so pay attention. Here it is. $15,000. Fat, fresh, dope. Fly. Which word was pictured in the sixth image? You may answer the question. Fat. You said fat. Let's see if you're right. You are right for $15,000. Yes. Yeah. Might want to go on two honeymoons now. 
Yes. You're at $35,000, yes, Chris, babe. and you've earned the right to stabilize. Now, Chris, do you want to stabilize now or gamble and do it later? Well under the red line, Ray. Is there a little Vegas in the blood? Oh, there is. <laughs> What's the audience think she should do? Your heart rate, calm down, babe. It's, it's easy for them to say, but they want you to gamble. I'll go for it. All right. That must be a serious wedding you're talking about. Don't forget, your red line rate still goes down here, and $300 a second is what you'll be losing when you red line. Here's your fourth question. This one's worth $25,000. Fear of heights, air conditioning, virtual reality, green beans. What is the English translation of the French term haricot vert? You may answer the question. Green beans. Green beans is right for $25,000. Oh, yes, baby. OK. Well I watch done. the cooking channel a lot. That brings your total to $60,000. Now, Chris, do you want to stabilize here? Um, or do you want to continue to gamble? No, I'm going to stabilize now. All right. All right, Chris. Good, baby. Chris you went one more than you said you were going to. I'm proud of you, baby. You're so good. You have three more questions to get past, though. And things don't get easier from here. You've got another decision to make. We've been dropping your red line with each question. If you want to give me $25,000, I won't drop your red line rate this one time. What do you think of that proposition? I think I'll keep my money. A player. We got a player, babe. Yes. With your red line rate, I can't say I blame you. Chris, here comes your next hard stopper. Say hello to our friend, the Python. Second harp stopper, you had to be thinking, get that thing out of my face, right? I was looking at your beautiful face there, John. <laughs> you are all right, Chris. That was the right thing to say. All right, let's drop that red line right again. Here's your $40,000 question, and it's a list. List four current National Football League teams that share their official team nickname with a four-legged animal? You may answer the question. You are well under the red line. Got plenty of time here. Your fiance a sports fan? Yeah, but I'm the bigger sports fan. She is a, she is a football fan at college. Okay, babe. Come on, babe. You are redlining. You may not answer the question. Yeah, you may answer the question. And one at a time. Looks like this is going to take some time. But if she gets it right, Chris will have nearly $100,000. It's worth the wait till after this break. you're away, Chris Macker was thinking about her $40,000 question. All we need is the names of four four-legged animals, which are the official nicknames of NFL teams. Thinking. You got plenty of time. You got that heart rate under control. Look at the, I'm as nervous as she is. I can only think of the Bears. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on, a big sports fan should know the answer to this. As would both my brothers. Brothers can't help here. That's the other show. 
Give me a sec here. Espresso, please. <laughs> I'm not getting tested, so hey, I can. Hey, John, have... you just settle down there right now. <laughs> oh, I like that. The more she dumps on me, the lower her heart rate goes. Come on, Chris, they play football games quicker than this. Okay. She is such a sports fan. Colorado football all the time. She takes me to the sports bars to watch football all the time. Can you think of one? I've got more gray hairs than I did before this question. The Colts? That is correct. One down, three to go. The Bears? The Bears is correct. Woo! Okay, babe, just relax. Two down. Got to keep those eyes open, though. You may lose that stabilizer now. You don't want to get Johnny Mac upset. Okay, I want to see you win, but got to stick by the rules like I always did. Oh, it's great being the host. Think of animals, Chris. Think of the think of the zoo. Oh, God. Think of the zoo. You go to the zoo, walk around the zoo, and look at the animals. You can edit this later, make it shorter. <laughs> now we have a director in addition to a contender. Point penalty, Mackerer, for being a director. You can call me Mac too. I like that. Chris Mac and Johnny Mac. My dad's Johnny Mac. Okay. I miss my kids. Like my wife. <laughs> and my wife, too. I want two round trip tickets to the Rams. The Rams is correct. The Rams. ABC really wants to give this money away. Three down. One to go. Your heart's under control, and I hate to tell you this, you have all the time you need. <laughs> the Bengals. $97,600. But if we're going to drop your red line, if you red line now, you're going to drop a huge $500 a second. Don't let that phase you. Here's your sixth question, $50,000. Bilbo, Frodo, Gandalf, Gollum. Which of these is the title character of J.R.R. Tolkien's 1937 novel, The Hobbit. You may answer the question. Bilbo. Bilbo is right! <laughs> calm down. Just calm down now, babe. I knew you knew it. Chris is now at $147,600. You've just about beaten the chair. You are doing amazingly well, Chris. You get past this final question, and you will be our biggest winner. First, we drop your red line rate by 5%. This last question, final question, is worth $100,000. And now, if you red line, you lose $1,000 a second. If you go over that number. Let's see if you can get this last question for $100,000. Brady Bill Becomes Law, Operation Desert Storm, Exxon Valdez Oil Spill, 
Hubble telescope launch. Which one of these events happened first? You may answer the question. As I've said before, you have plenty of time. You are still under your red line, Ray. For all the marbles, Chris. One hundred thousand additional dollars. You've only lost the whole time two thousand four hundred dollars, and I'm nervous. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Brady Bill becomes law. Operation Desert Storm, Exxon Valdez oil spill, Hubble telescope launch. Which one of these events happened first? You may not answer the question. You may answer the question. Answer, answer, answer. Chris, baby, answer is what we said you'd do. Guess. Here's a guess. You may not answer the question. You may answer the question. Exxon Valdez. You said Exxon Valdez oil spill? You're right! <laughs> Who's ever beaten the chair? <laughs> Total winnings, Chris, two hundred twenty-four thousand six hundred dollars. <laughs> you, you still sure you want to get married? Where's my heart now? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got someone meeting you down at the bottom of the chair. Congratulations, Chris. You are $224,600 richer. And you have beaten the chair. happy about the chair getting beat. And that means I might have to get tough on our next contender. So Mike Wilson, you're going to need plenty of luck in the chair. One of the ways that I help relieve stress is sometimes do a voice impersonation. A lot of times I figure if I'm if I'm being Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy's crazy, crazy. <laughs> the one thing I don't want to do in the chair is become like George Costanza from Seinfeld, because he's too neurotic. He'd be like, <laughs> perfect. They're going to ask me questions I don't know. They're completely not fair. Mike made a vivid impression on our heart monitor after these 20 and 30 feet per minute jumps. I'm hoping to prove to all of my friends that I'm not just a jokester. I can actually be smart and cool as a cucumber under pressure. And I think I'm going to do it tonight. Mike, it's good to have you there in the chair. It's great to be here, John. All right, I'm ready for an impression. Give me a, give me a Rich Little. He's a fellow impressionist. Rich Little? I can do Rich Little doing Don Knotts. 
All right, Rich Little doing Don Knox. Well, it's not too hard to be in the chair, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Just gotta have a vote. All right, that's good. <laughs> Look at my heart rate, it's through the roof, baby. Through oh. the roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. High sprung is your tennis racket right now. <laughs> Can we do a hard stopper before there's any questions? All right, let's hear your best Mac and Roll. You call that in? <laughs> you cannot be serious. You are not serious. All right, it is game time. Based on your resting heart rate of 75 beats per minute, we set your red line rate 70% above that, 128 beats per minute. As usual, you get $5,000 just to get you out of the blocks, and you lose $100 for every second you red line. Here's your first question for another $5,000. Cup, glass, mug, tumbler. Which is the term for the type of shot taken for police records? May answer the question. Mug. You said mug, you're right for $5,000. That's just like that. Quick $10,000. It's a good start. Man, this is great, oh. man. <laughs> Another impression. That's, that's enough. When you do those impressions, your heart rate goes crazy, all right? So I'm going to give you a little hint. No more impressions, okay? <laughs> so who'd you bring with you tonight? No, I brought my buddy Don. Buddy Don. Don Knotts or, uh... <laughs> no, Don, Don McWay, he's my good friend. Get ready. Mike, here comes your first heart stopper. Sounds like July 4th. Oh. Well, <laughs> you've done an excellent impression of a marshmallow, okay? If nothing else, I've broken into a sweat. You didn't lose any money, because you kept it under control. You still got $10,000. Good job. OK, here's the situation. One down, six to go. Now, after each question, we're going to be lowering your red line rate 5% of your resting heart rate. The second question is worth $10,000. Here it is. Two, three, five, nine. Divide the number of squares on TV's Hollywood squares by the number of contestants per game on TV's Jeopardy. You may answer the question. Three. You said three. You are right for $10,000. It's been an exciting night so far, but the excitement is far from over. Come right back. This is The Chair. so far and they're only gonna get better so let's get back to the game all right you got a total of twenty thousand dollars get that heart rate down you're now at our fifteen thousand dollar question but you're also at the point where you lose two hundred dollars a second if you redline let's drop that red line rate and see how you do with this visual question check it out thousand additional dollars stop yield game over in the third image which word was printed backward on the sign you may not answer the question right now and you are losing two hundred dollars a second as you read line I would not recommend doing any impressions right hey now. Hey, buddy, I'm here for you. Just stay calm. Just stay calm and you'll win it. You're doing a good impression of the guy losing some money. So come on, let's get it down. You may answer the question. Over. Over. You said over. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you are right. 
lost a little over six thousand there, but you have that total now of twenty-eight thousand six hundred dollars. Also, Mike, you've earned the right to stabilize. Do you want to stabilize now or gamble and do it later? Stabilize. Okay, but remember, you lose three hundred dollars a second if you redline. Now let's also drop that red line ring. Here's question four. Deep breath here, Mike, because this is worth $25,000. You're redlining, but I haven't finished the question yet. Snake, worm, lizard, snail. In Greek mythology, when Medusa was punished, her hair was turned into what type of animal? You may not answer the question. You are red line at the moment, $300 a second. Got to keep those eyes open. Yeah, this, you know, this should be easy for, uh, for Michael. I mean, he's always the center of attention. He's always on, on stage. I mean, this should not be a big deal for me. Come on, it's time to do the imitation of a yogi instructor. Calm down here. You got to get it down. You got to get it down quicker. You're losing money. Have you ever tried Gandhi? <laughs> Come on, Michael. You're starting to lose money, Michael. Come on, bring it down, Michael. I don't want to get you worried here, Mike, but you're down to $10,000. Come on. You're getting there. Come on, you've done this before. You crowd wants you to do it. You're good at other things. Bring it down. I'm not happy about this red line business, Mike. You may Snake. answer the questions. Snake. You said snakes. You are right for twenty-five thousand dollars. Now you pulled that out. Mike, at the last minute, your total now is $27,800. Come on, Mike, you're redlining some money away here. You gotta get your heart rate down. Whoa. You're still losing $300 a second as you redline. Get it down. There you go. That's it. There you go, Mike. All right. You're going to lose $400 a second redlining on this next question. We're going to take your redline rate down another 5%, and this question is worth $40,000. And it's a list. Name four of Michael Jackson's singing siblings. You may not answer the question. And Mike, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you are losing $400 a second right now. Well, let's really get out. Let's show them what you're really made of. Come on, let's do it. help, I'll get you a bed there instead of a chair. <laughs> there you go. Forget that lame joke I told you. You know all the trivia. Come on. You've done the impressions. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, no, Mike, I'm sorry. Yeah. The answers are Janet, Jackie, Jermaine, LaToya, Marlon, Randy. Rebby, Tito, I'm sorry. Mike, once again, you've been defeated by the chair. To get my heart rate down, I tried everything I could possibly think of. I thought of a mountain stream, I thought of the mountains, I thought of having a great set at a comedy club, and it just didn't get my heart rate down. Uh, I thought it was a pretty easy question, actually. Just the heart rate thing, it's, it's pretty hard to do. I am impressed by anybody that pulls it off in this game. It's the toughest game in the world. Whoever said easy come, easy go, must have been talking about the contenders on this show.
But don't you go anywhere, because we'll be right back. Well, I was starting to think it would never happen, but Chris Macker has done it. She got through all seven questions on her way to winning $224,600 and becoming the first champion of the chair. Exxon Valdez. I think that's it. You said Exxon Valdez oil spill? You're right! <laughs> She's going to be so excited. Collect. <laughs> Mom. Well, I didn't win all the money. You want to know how much I won? $224,000! Yes! <laughs> so right. I love you. Oh. Oh, God, I so love you. So the chair can be beat. But can someone do it again? Come back next week and find out. Till then, I'm John McEnroe. Good night.